The rain stopped, the clouds parted, and the sun descended on McKee Middle School just in time for their first ever career fair. I hope they get enough information where they can kind of make it some kind of decision, or at least maybe even just pique their interest in some type of career. History teacher Jared Azeltine had one goal in mind when he brainstormed the event. As they move into high school, give them kind of, I guess, an end game for what, what maybe to expect after high school. From agriculture You're never doing the same thing. to law enforcement that would just have to be patrol. and everyone in between. Dozens of professionals from across Kern County shared their wisdom about the future careers these roadrunners can be a part of. Honestly, I think it's a good experience to talk with people for to understand what they do. Are they happy? Like to understand this is what you're going to do at that job. Education for oil and gas industry can be as low as it starts out with a high school diploma and then go all the way up to a PhD. Students inquired about engineering and architecture from the men and women who execute these jobs daily. This one, I got free stuff. The law enforcement camp was among the most popular stops. I was like, can I spin the wheel? They're like, sure, I got this. There's many like forces out here and a lot of kids really want to be a police officer, so I'm just hoping they go around and find the stuff they want. Local college reps were at the ready to educate our teenagers about their sports and academic programs. It's fun, I like it, because I get to see like the job availability. And whatever our students decide to pursue, it wouldn't be possible without our community partners who've worked with us to bring about this experience. Yeah, I'm super thankful. I mean, all these companies, a lot of local companies, and we got our federal and, and uh, state companies out here dedicating their time and money and resources to come out here and just give this away to these students and give free information. And uh, I know in today's society, that's, that's, that's pretty hard, especially on small companies. So I'd like to thank all those people.